In this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a uh, safety key in Autodesk Inventor following this dimension drawing here. Uh, first, we want to do is we want to start with new. Select part for this. Sketch. The one I use is XZ plane. Select the rectangle two point center. Hover over till you see a green dot on there. Select it. On the highlight dimension there, you want to type in 2.4. Don't click enter, but hover again with your mouse over to the other one and type in 4.7, enter. And click check. Zoom out a little bit. Click on the extrude button there. And what we want for this is 1.9, enter. Now we got a simple cube looking, actually not a cube, but a rectangle. And then go to view. I, you want, if you want to do this, you can, but I like to work with shade with edge, so I could at least see the line. Um, I'll go back to sketch. S highlight the top face here. Select sketch. Now I just want to draw a simple line, straight up, and select dimensions. Hover over the vertical yellow line and the green line bring up the dimensions and what I want for this one is 1.12 enter and then check select sketch extrude I meant to uh, say um, 3d extrude and once we bring that up you want to highlight over the other one um, bring it down to cut what we want for this is type in the whole dimension 1.9 minus and we want minus 1.12 there we go okay perfect now we what we're gonna do is cut another line so s highlight the top face again sketch draw a vertical line actually a horizontal line. Apologize for that. Horizontal line. Two ways that way. And now we go back to the dimensioning. What we want for this is 2.1.4. Enter. Hover all that. Just like that. Type in 0.7 for that. This would center everything up. And then we click OK. Extrude again, select that outside and the other inside towards you. Choose cut, choose through. If the direction is correct, that's what we want. So say okay. Now we have, we're getting close to it. Uh, what we want to do now is select the face again on top there, sketch, draw another vertical line straight down, snap onto the yellow line there. Dimension it again. This time we want 0.76. And then check. We want to do the extrude, highlight it, select cut again. And this time what we want to do is 0.44. And there's that. Now we want to go to the bottom here. Select the bottom piece, sketch. What we want to do is just draw a d construction line, which is this piece here. Click on that. Click on the line. Just draw a simple construction line. Now turn off your construction line. Select line again. In the center of that X that you will see that pop up once it's snapped, just draw a basic straight line upward and downward angle because we want to do that 60 degree here. Uh, what we would do is go to dimension. 60 degree type in 60 and we want to make sure that this in here is 30 now everything should line up pretty much it yep perfect all we have to do now is just trim out the ex extra and say okay select extrude again select the part that we want to take out which is that and that and go to cut go to through and there we have it pretty much there okay once we get this one we want to finish off the back here so 
highlight the top there sketch draw a simple basic three line here dimension this one out to be 0.4 dimension this out to be oh, 0.4 there that's right we want this one to be dimension 1.4 and then we want to just get everything constrained into a center line which is uh, 1.4 minus divide 2 would be there perfect enter extrude cut through click OK. Now we're going to work on the inside. Select that face again. Select sketch. What we want to do is just draw a horizontal line all the way there. Two of them. Across the center. And we're dimensioning both of them again. And this one we want just one inch. And then from here and the center dot here we want 0.5. So it will constrain everything there. Click so check. Select extrude again, select that, go to cut, and the cut that we want for this is 0.4. And that is pretty much it. Now the only thing that we have to do is the hole, which I'm go just going to use part of the 3D sketch hole here. Select that, select the face that we want to cut, which is this one here. Just click on it, don't click enter on it, just like that. And once we do that, we want to do the line dimension. So select from the bottom line here. We want that one to be 0.56. And without clicking enter, hover over and highlight the vertical line here, just like that. And what we want for that is 1.38. We're not done yet, so um, we want to take a look at the di diameter of what we want which is 0.5 and then apply and there you have it the hole but since it's not going through what we want to do is go back into the whole dimension edit feature if it doesn't go through select here we want to go through that's what it's called for so that's what we got um, there's quite a few different method of doing this but I find that once you get used to um, doing it this way, it pretty it's pretty um, basic and simple for you. So um, let me know if I could help in any way. Um, so subscribe, and I'll be doing some more videos soon. Thank you.